is up you guys it's your girl angel sky and today my girl the beautiful the one and only e family asked me to do a quick tutorial on how i apply my lashes so that's what we're gonna do today um so the ones that i normally get from cvs unfortunately they didn't have them um they're from ardell and they're the natural wispies these are like a little bit longer um, a little bit more bold. So these are the ones I'm going to be using today. I also have these as well. So like for starters, these are a really good choice just because they're more of a natural look. Um, it's the double pack from Kiss and you also get this um, little gadget that helps you put on your lashes. So if you're like, if it's your first time doing lashes, I would kind of suggest these just because they're a little bit more natural. So, um, Obviously, this doesn't come with glue, but I have my own um, glue here from Duo. This is the white clear glue, so it goes on white, and then when it dries, it's clear. And then I have my little gadget like you just saw there. It's kind of like tweezers type of thing, and then at the end, it has like a point and it slopes on one side. So these are really helpful to try to put the lashes on. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so let me unbox them first. So these are the length of the lashes and obviously my eyes aren't that long, nor do I want it to start on my corner. I like to have it sit back a little bit more and I don't like it to stop too far down. So I like it to go a little bit up more just so it can have like a little wing effect at the end so with these lashes what I do is I cut them I don't cut here the inner corners because that's like the most natural look that you want in here but the ends are the ends, so it doesn't really matter so that's where I cut I cut towards the end and I cut just like pretty much a tiny bit of the strip off um, so I'll show you how I do it so this is the length of the strip, which is pretty long. So for me, what I normally do is I take them going this way so that the lashes are up and I pretty much cut two, if you see that right there, two of the um, last chunks. See those two last chunks right there? I cut those off because that's exactly the pretty much the length that I want them to be. So I'm going to take that like this and I'm going to clip it right there. And that's what I have left, this. So that's a little bit more feasible for my eyes because I feel like when they're too long, they just look ridiculous. So this is going to be pretty good. See? Because I want it to start here and I want it to end there. So that's pretty much what the lash is going to look like, which is perfect. So there's my first one so then i'm gonna take my other one and i'm just gonna make sure that i cut obviously the same amount off on each side this is my other lash so like i said i'm gonna take it upside down just because it's easier to kind of like cut that way so you can cut exactly where you want it to be and i'm gonna take the last two chunks this and cut just like that. There's my last two chunks. And then they and then I kind of take the two chunks that I cut and I make sure they match up. Like these two things just to make sure I didn't cut too much off of one and that they're even. So if you can see they're both pretty even. So those are the two those are the each side that I cut off. So they look pretty even. So those are gone. And then it's pretty simple, you guys. Honestly, this is the strip. I put it upside down because it's easier to grasp the lash that way. I have my glue and I literally just swipe it like that. Sometimes it can come out kind of like chunky at first. So you definitely want to make sure there's no like crazy chunks coming out. And then I take this and make sure you can see. I take this. And I just put a little bit of the glue on the strip. Yeah. 
if it drips down just let it drip down on its own don't give it any more than it needs all right so that's pretty much it <clears throat> sometimes you want to put more on the ends and some a little bit more on the tips because that's where it kind of um lifts the most just because your eyes water i guess all right so then for the tweezers like that I put them the opposite way, like this pretty much molds to your face, but I like to do it the opposite way of the curve because I feel like it gets it closer to your eye. So I'm going to try to use my camera, but I have a mirror right here, so I'm just going to see what works better. I've never done this so slow before. And then you're literally just going to take it and you're going to line it up to wherever you want it on your eyes and then hold it down and then I use the other end to hold it and press it down. People say that you have to like go like this and let it kind of dry more but I don't do that. I just put it right on so I don't have time. <laughs> like I'm not a person that likes to waste time. So I just put it directly on my eye. You want it over the lashes but as close as you can get to the strip. And if you need to pull it down, then pull it down. See that? So the bottom's on good, but the top is lifting. So you just want to press that down with the tip. Not the slope part, but the tip. And push it in. And then press it down as much to the, um, to the bottom of your... Um, waterline as possible and I hold it for a second just so I make sure that that piece is gonna stay all right so there we go the first lash is on and these, as you saw, these are pretty long lashes, but look. See, that's the length of the lashes, but look at it on your eye. So don't be scared that you're, like, you're getting too long of a lash because when you put them on, honestly, it doesn't look so drastic on your actual face. So don't worry about that. I used to be scared, like, oh my gosh, this looks huge. Like, I'm going to look like I'm doing too much, you know, but... It actually looks a lot different once it get on gets on your eyes, so don't be afraid to like try different lashes just to see what it looks like on your face because obviously everybody has like a different shape of their face and everything, so don't be afraid to branch out and just at least see. I mean, even if you're not going anywhere, you see how that drip that fast like that? You don't want that. That's too much. So make sure you let some of that go, and you can even take it and just wipe it on the lash because you don't want that much on there. Sometimes it just comes out super fast. I don't know why it does that. All right, so that's the amount of glue that I have on my lash, if you can see that. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more on the tips. Cause like I said, sometimes those come loose the easiest because you water in your eye right there. So then this is the other side. So I'm gonna take it like this on the tip and I'm gonna use the opposite side like that to get closer to my face. And then take this, kind of like readjust it, and then do the same thing. Just kind of line it up however you want it. So, push that down like that I mean you could use your fingernails it's just hard because mine are so long and then go to the tip and push it down wherever the tip is see that's why I don't let it dry that that well because once it dries and you put it on it's gonna stick to wherever you have it and sometimes that's not a good spot especially I mean I'm not a professional at this I don't know what I'm doing I'm just I'm telling you what I've learned along the way so just put a little bit more glue if you don't like where it's sitting. Just put a little bit more glue to loosen it like that. 
and then you'll be able to push it down. I promise you this does not take me this long. This takes me like literally two minutes. It's just because I'm trying to do it slow and I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing <laughs> so it's helpful. And then take, I take the long side of it and I just hold it down and try to push it down a little bit more just so it's closer to the water line so it obviously looks more natural. Um, okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute okay so now that I have them on you see there's obviously a big difference the glue has dried so what I like to do with this is sometimes they get when you glue them they they get glued down a little bit so in order for you to like see the length and to see them a little bit more I just push them up you do not want to use a curler on these because it'll mess up the actual hairs itself and they'll start going sideways and everything so don't ever use a curler on these but if you take your fingers and just kind of push them up like that and on the sides just push them up you'll see a difference just for like a couple seconds just keep them up there you don't want to press too hard to where you're moving where the actual lashes are but it just help them kind of like primp them up like that see how you can see them so much more now. So I do that. And the other thing I do is a lot of people do mascara on before they do their lashes, but I find it gets in my way because I want to be able to see clearly and not have any little hairs get in my way. So it's easier for me to do it with no mascara. And then after I'm done with my lashes, that's when I go in with a little bit of mascara. Obviously, I don't need a lot because it's giving me plenty of volume but I just want to make sure that you can't see the little hairs that are underneath sometimes so I'll just kind of make sure like underneath is being pressed up with the lashes and then it just kind of defines them more and give it a little bit more um, shape and length So that's it. You can spruce them up a little bit after the mascara, like I said, just kind of push them up and give them a little bit of a, or shape them and just kind of like put them where you want to. This is what I like my lashes to do. I like them to stay like that so that it almost gives me like a cat eye effect and I don't have to use a winged liner when I have lashes like this. So that is it, that wraps it up. These are the lashes that I used. The Ardell Fomix Wispies. These were like $5 at CVS. I had a $3 coupon, so they were $2 for me. Try different things out. See what looks good on your face. That is my tutorial on how I put my lashes on. It's super simple. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. This is just for you, the E-Family, since you were asking me to do it for weeks, and I still haven't done it, so I got it done just for you. I love you guys so freaking much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.